Good morning everybody, it's Bob Morabito from Haynes Hunter HQ here in Ellerslie again and this morning I wanted to take you through the SF485 Sport Fisher with a few subtle differences that you've probably not seen yet. So come on down, let's have a little look. Okay, now while we're at the transom of the boat, it'd be an interesting time to tell you, this is powered, this 485 is powered with one of Yamaha's new F70s and you'll notice the difference in a pearl white finish which is uh, quite a stunning contrast to Yamaha's uh, standard gunmetal blue colour. Um, there is a slight price difference for it, but I'm sure you'll agree it's a worthy uh, addition to the Yamaha range and one that you could consider. The Haynes Hunter has traditionally got a 21 degree deep V hull. Now on the 485, in the interest of stability, we've made it a 17 degree V hull, which takes nothing away from the uh, the Haynes uh, quality ride, but it does intensify the stability at rest, and that's something that's always been an issue with small boats. And as most of us know, when you're running a small boat, it's ideal uh, you're not normally going for hours at end to sit for a few minutes. So, really stable, and this is one of the biggest selling features of the boat, which gives you a real competitive edge over the standard tinny boats which are often looked at for their lightness and their no maintenance, and we all know that um, those are up for debate. Now, come aboard and have a look at what we've got on board the SF485. Basically, at the back end of the boat, you've got a optional bolt-on ski pole, which is able to be removed in place and have a bait station put in the back there, depending on what water sports you're doing. All right, now on the floor with the traditional cockpit carpet, the Ultralon panels, which give you a really nice soft feel underfoot, nice and easy to clean, and they it looks fabulous. Um, the back-to-back -back seat on the port side is a, another recent innovation for the 485. Puts a huge volume of storage in the boat, introduces some more comfortable seating, and complements an already well optioned cockpit. Going into the cabin area, nice functional cabin, drop down um, into the cabin area where you've got built-in squabs, you're not getting into the cabin to on your knees to go and deal with the anchor. Now on that basis of the anchor, traditionally in a small boat you've got the option of a capstan to go up the front and or you just manually deal with the anchor at leisure. In addition to this we've now uh, modified the front of the boat to take an aftermarket automatic capstan winch that can be operated from the helm. Now I don't know about you guys but as you get a bit older going up the front for the anchor is always a pain so slipping into uh, the, the helm seat pushing a button makes it all happen easy so you can get out there park where the fish are pull up the anchor and disappear if they're not biting find another spot it's as simple as parking. The biggest change to the boat over the standard canopy is the introduction of a new stainless frame bimini canopy for the 485, just like the bigger brothers up through the range. This is um, a factory fitted option and comes with forward facing clears, side clears, your acrylic top, obviously a backdrop to complete the cockpit and very cleverly manufactured to have two anchor points at the rear for an additional bolt-on rocket launcher at a later stage if you get really uh, motivated with all your different uh, rod options. Apart from having great storage for the rods on either side of the boat and the rod racks, the rod rack at the top of the boat with all your different spinning, jigging, soft bait rigs etc, you've got a good easy access um, storage area for them. Now one of the great things I love about this little boat apart from its beam and its stability is the storage area. Now under the floor in the SF485 you've got full longitudinal storage through two big hatches. Plenty of room for a fish bin, plenty of room for rods or beach umbrellas or whatever. However, as an alternative to the all the space you can lose one space section and have a 60 litre underfloor stainless steel tank fitted. Now this frees up the area on either side of the boat for other fishing associated bits and pieces, but important to understand you only lose half the underfloor storage area and you're still picking up the forward section. Okay, now part of the package with the 485 Bimini 
the factory supply a full transom or a full beam board that sits on the gunnels conveniently so that the bimini canopy, if you're folding it to put in your garage, really easily done. Depending on the day you've had, your side curtains will probably be off, quite possibly your forage section as well. But let's have a look at how that works. Now the beauty of the SF485 Bimini Canopy, once you have got the side curtains out and the forward section, you've got great protection from UV, but also the added benefit of a forward facing peak like a baseball hat, keeps the sun away, gives you that depth of view, and you've got full 360 degree vis around the boat really easily. When we come back home, before it goes in the garage, simply undo the two knuckles on the side of the boat. Critical when you're folding the canopy is to not to forget to pull off the two side retainers for the top canopy. The reason for that is it's right on a pivot point as you'll see in a minute. Once we fold the canopy back down onto the bar, then you have two little pins on the side which simply pull the pin out same on the other side, just slightly tilt the top back, lifting the arms out and then the whole canopy drops down to below the top of the windscreen, giving you easy access in and out of the garage. And simply reverse the measure when you come out of the garage, super easy, push it back up, locate the retainers, put the pins in and then just lift the canopy back up and retain it and if it's a crack a day, which is probably the reason you're going out, you probably won't even need the covers. Okay, this is my favourite part of the boat, sitting in the seat, um, even though we're in the car park, hey, it's good to simulate you going boating. But everything about the 485, everything's at your fingertips. Your inbuilt Yamaha digital dash, multi-function meter, your hot points, to plugging in spotlights, or even if you're charging up the shoe phone and playing a bit of music, everything's at your, at your fingertips. The, the Simrad GPS plotter and your full um, switch panel. And then up the front here is the automatic anchor. We touched on it before, but in a boat this size, massive help if you're out and about by yourself or doing some um, plenty of you know parking moving on changing your fishing spots uh, without having to go up the front and deal with an anchor manually or wrapping it around a little standard gypsy as we used to do the operation of pushing a button at the helm and having the anchor um, lay out or, or retrieve while you don't leave the helm station lovely feature love using that in the boat when I'm out there now in the 485 the cabin is really well developed with decent headroom. You can sit two people in here, get out of the weather. Also another nice little feature is the step up for the anchor platform through the front hatch. Should you get a snarl up with the anchor, are you going to deploy a grapnel or anything else? Rather than struggle, it's an easy walk through into the cabin, step up onto the front area, out through the hatch and deal with it. And the anchor is right in front of you. As you can see here, we've had this boat fitted with the drum winch, automatic, operated from the helm, and the anchor kit and stuff is, is um, yet to be loaded once the boat is uh, commissioned. So the SF485 sits on a custom-built DMW multi-roller trailer. These are designed just for the Haynes Hunter SF485. There's very little adjustment on them. The trailer is running a V chassis, so keeps the centre of gravity really low. You don't need the car backed up to the number plate, the exhaust pipe bubbling, just to get the boat to launch and retrieve. In fact, the way this trailer is designed, the last time I used one, didn't even get my shoes off when I was operating the bow post. Super easy on and off the trailer. And of course, the days of 
Mum's standing in the water holding the boat straight while you wind it on. That's all gone too. This boat comes on at a 45 degree angle. Once you've got the winch rope on, you introduce a bit of pressure to it and the boat is helped up the trailer by the trailer design, all the multi-rollers. Bring it up, put it on the tie downs, go home, job done. So pop down and see us here at uh, Haynes Hunter HQ in Corley Street. We're located two minutes off the North, uh, the, sorry, the Southern Motorway, uh, off the Ellerslie Penrose turn off, turn left, turn left, hook back into it, come down Corley Street, you can't miss the shop. We've a full range of Haynes Hunter boats on display. Love to see you.